Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome everyone as well. As you can see, this is the beginning of Halloween in a very fun time. And uh, I want to thank the governor. He's never looked so good. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, I think this is the best you've ever looked. This is really becoming. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You look good with the ball in your hand, too. Of course, what can I say? <laughs> anyway, the whole purpose of this is to remind everybody it's just a really fun and joyous time of the year, and we want to keep it that way. And so today's press conference, I want to thank the governor and the State Department of Transportation, HPD, all of our related services, EMS, everybody that's on call to want to make sure that we keep this a really great time for our keiki. All of us can remember Halloween is always one of those special holidays, and we want it to be that way this year for the kids that are going to be out there trick-or-treating. But we need people to be mindful and to be careful and very conscious. But I've had a lot of fun already pretending to be Governor Josh Green. What can I say? I'm going to turn it over to the governor. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so it's wonderful to be with the mayor, to have these beautiful children behind us. And our message is this. Please be safe. When the kids are out together, make sure that they're in groups. We always want to have several children together because that's the way they can be utterly safe. Have them be very mindful of crosswalks and be with those children. If you mindful of crosswalks, it's a little dangerous on some of our narrow roads. Make sure that, that our children are wearing something that's a little shiny, that's reflective, because once again, a lot of this is road safety. Uh, we'll be out there looking out for kids, but uh, again, be in groups. Make sure the children don't take candy that's already been opened. Make sure that they're really, really being careful on the road. And I think we'll have a great Halloween. You gonna go trick or treating with me? I. You know, of yeah, course I will. We think, huh? I think we can have some fun doing that. Yes. Hey, I want to bring up John Nowuchu, who's our Deputy Director for our Department of Transportation Services. John. Thank you, Mayor. At this great time when we're on the eve of Halloween, you know, a good friend of mine came up with an idea years ago that he wished that we could just have Halloween on every last Saturday of October. But, you know, that hasn't come to pass. And here we are, we're staring down a Tuesday night Halloween. Now we want everybody to know that your commitment to safety, it begins now. Be safe. We want to tell all of our keiki and everybody, be safe, be seen at Halloween. We want to make sure that one, not only does everyone get out there and have a good time and trick or treat and only have good memories of tomorrow night. We want to make sure that everyone gets home safely tomorrow. We've seen in the past where Halloween a lot of people want to get home, get their costumes ready, get their homes ready for trick-or-treating, get ready for their family parties. Everybody rushes home and the traffic tomorrow and the congestion might be a little bit different than what you're used to. Now, it is not worth it to rush. We want everybody to just be as careful as they can, make good decisions, drive with aloha, keep your family safe, and do everything you can when you're out there on the roads, when you're out on the streets with your keiki, with your ohana be safe, have lights with you. Make sure that the keiki are close to you, that they cross streets safely, that you can do everything you can to keep this as festive and as happy as all these kids that are behind me right now so that they get home and everyone gets home safely tomorrow night. Mahalo. Thank you, John. Well, I think when we think of safety, the first thing that comes to mind is our police department. So I'd like to bring up Major Station Tanaka to give us a perspective from HPD. Major? First of all, just want to wish everybody a happy and safe Halloween. Um, as you know, Halloween is one of the first uh, events that kicks off the holiday season, right? We're gonna have all the Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's festivities coming upon us. So um, let's take it as a time to get into the mindset of being safe um, during this holiday season. Um, for those who are going to be trick-or-treating tomorrow, please watch your keikis, especially if they're under 12 years old. Um, we want to be with them at all times to help them cross the street safely um, and escort them house to house. Um, also, the key is to be visible. Um, so as you see, our keiki behind here, behind me are all visible, um, easy to see. Um, but also be vigilant. I always expect keikis to be excited and to be darting from parked cars or just to be jaywalking in general. So um, carry flashlights if you can, attach glow sticks to their costumes 
and you might even want to attach um, some personal information to their costume in case they get, in case they get lost. Um, also from a driver's standpoint, please um, stay off your cell phones. Um, we want to be um, putting our full concentration to the roadways and um, slowing down. Um, driving slower saves lives. And, um, you know, be sure to check your children's candies before they consume it for any anything that's suspicious. And if you do see something, um, please don't hesitate to call 911. Um, but like, uh, like anything, just please have a safe and um, enjoy happy holiday and a Halloween tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Major. One of the young kids just asked me, Doctor, why do you have so many bandages on your fingers? And I said, this is the trademark of Dr. Jock Shreen, our governor. <laughs> and I want to bring up Doc, I want, uh, Dr. Jim Island, who's head of our EMS. Jim, he's here today as Ken, as in Ken and Barbie. Is that what that is? It is. It is. It is. So we got Barbie. Barbie, put your hand up. See, we got Barbie oh, okay. looking, looking right. wonderful, okay. looking spectacular. Okay. Um, well, thank you all for coming. Happy Halloween. Uh, EMS Ken here. And EMS Ken doesn't want anybody getting hit by a car tomorrow. And EMS Ken wants everybody to get home safe tomorrow. And, and really, um, you know, we never want anybody hit by a car, but especially tomorrow and especially a child. Cars need to slow down. Um, put your cell phones away, throw them in the glove box, throw them in the center console, and don't drive impaired. We have a great bus system, we have taxis, we have the rail, Skyline, and we have ride sharing. There's no reason anybody has to drive impaired and put yourself, your passengers, or the public at risk. Um, you know, and, and that's true all the time, but especially for the holiday season and, and in particular tomorrow. So listen to EMS Ken. Uh, EMS doesn't want your business tomorrow. Uh, we, but we do want everybody to have a fun time and we want you to uh, take care of yourself, take care of your families and, and have just a great time um, trick or treating. OK. All right. Barbie, anything else? No. OK. Thank you, guys. Anybody else coming up? That's it, Governor. Come on up. Okay, come on up. Yeah. The, he's going to get a proclamation from the mayor. Yes, I have okay, a proclamation. Governor. I'm not going to read it in part because I didn't bring my glasses. Uh, but I know enough to say that as the mayor of the city, Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah, Let's try this. This is worse than my eyes. <laughs> wow. Really? You need that? Yeah, you know. Wow. I can't see with that. Anyway, um, anyway the proclamation is, says it not, is the mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, Ira Palenja. I am very proud to pronounce this is Cakey Pedestrian Safety Week. Okay. So in spirit of Halloween, but for our kids especially, Let's really protect them, okay? I want to thank all the media for coming out today. I want to thank Dr. Green, Governor Green, uh, for being such a good sport. Yeah, yeah, nice hairline. Yeah, it's good. Okay, with that, thank you, everybody. Good. Okay.